Welcome back to the top news channel RF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. How dare you? Boris poured cold water on Spain's cowardly act, raid shook the whole EU. Our fish are being stolen by the Spanish. Cornish fishermen are being robbed by trawlers, prompting outrage over Brexit. Fish that are too tiny to be sold by trawlers from Spain are allegedly being transported back home on trucks. As some comments said, I used to fish out of New Lynn in the 70s and even back then, the Spanish used to drop their lobster pots on top of ours. That was until we all got together and kicked all their catch back into the harbour. Maybe it is time to do it again. It's even more embarrassing that the Spaniards did those things so often. In another comment, many people said, my own opinion is. All foreign vessels from fishing UK waters. Step up the fishery protection and law enforcement fleet. Let's be done with these little bits of law tacked on every time there is a row. If they fish poorly then arrest them, confiscate their catch and fine the captain company. Don't mess around anymore, it's a sign of weakness. In our recent interview, a resident of New Lynn expressed his alarm about the increasing number of UK-registered, Spanish-owned fishing boats off the western approaches to the fishing industry news website The Fishing Daily. According to him, he's never seen this many people come into New Lynn to dump fish even while the United Kingdom was a member of the European Union. Locals are concerned that the Marine Management Organization may be in the dark about this. A man named the Taxa Lady said, any boat fishing UK waters must be made to land catch in the UK and fish to UK standards. Don't comply and boat will be seized. Another responded and said, it would be good if we could do that but generally fish needs to be fresh. So even British boats unloaded in foreign ports. Personally I would do as you say and if fewer fish are caught as a result then it is a win for conservation. Here in the Outer Hebrides the lorries are on the piers waiting for the catches or even the farmed fish, they are exported live so are still fresh in arrival. Spain is the usual destination. As one news station commented, I was down there earlier on this week and I was looking through the boxes there. The size of the hack is just ridiculous. They are coming in and landing them directly onto the back of the lorry to be shipped to Spain and they've even got the labels on there, Malusa, which is the Spanish name for hake. According to some comments from readers, they added, ESO a local informs the authorities about undersized fish, and their response is, you must report any illegal activities regarding undersized fish, and they do what, go down there later on in the day when the lorries have left for Spain. Where is the point of having government officials if they can't get out of bed? Also, someone named Red Lion said, it is a little known fact that a significant proportion of UK registered fishing boats are in fact foreign owned to get around the rules. Now that we are out of the EU these loopholes need to be closed down to give advantage to our own citizens. The MMO, like so many other public bodies, are clearly not fit for purpose. And a reader named Sparky82 raised a few questions as follows, why isn't there UK fishing patrol units? That monitor and do spot checks on fishermen in UK waters? This should certainly be the case, since these EU fishermen are destroying the UK seabeds and doing exactly the same as what made their waters extinct of fish. It's not by the off chance that the UK has plenty of fish stocks, yet the rest of the EU don't, including France which is a stone throw from the UK. Surely the UK government should immediately ban trawler fishing for both EU and UK fishermen and monitor all fishing to ensure rules are followed. EU fishermen are not exactly going to care about the future of UK waters. 